Hi everybody. If you're watching this, you're probably wondering where the fuck I've been. I wish that I could give you a really legitimate answer about what I've been doing for the last year and a half of my life, but I can't really. Perhaps the last time you watched me, you were a 13-year-old girl. Maybe by now you've celebrated your sweet 16. Look at you all grown up. Happy birthday. If you were like a 38-year-old man, maybe you're over the hill now. Stop watching lesbian YouTube videos. It's creepy, and even straight girls don't like creepy. I just wanted to pop on over to my channel, let you know that A, I was alive and relatively well, and B, maybe give you a little bit of an idea of what I've been up to. A lot has changed and a lot hasn't changed, let's put it that way. I think that I've managed to become exponentially gayer, if you can even fathom the thought of that. I was pondering this as I was listening to the Indigo Girls in my car today, and I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm almost 28 now and my hormones are raging all of the time, specifically my gay hormones. You know, one thing that has changed is like with finishing school and being a little more adult, like I've really reorganized my priorities and I'm a lot more responsible and I've really just like cleaned up my act a lot. Ugh. Another thing that's changed is I've really like toned down the cat behaviors a little bit. Like I'm not as fanatical about the cats as I used to be. <gasps> Weenus! <sighs> Hi, Ween! Weenie, 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 weenus! Who's mommy's special princess? Who is mommy's special princess pie? I love you. Will you marry me? <gasps> yes, you will. Yes, you will, you little ray of sunshine. Hi, Mr. Ollie Bear. You are a handsome man. So what exactly have I been doing for the last year and a half? Um, I've been doing a little bit of soul searching, working on my novels, studying interpretive dance, learning about beekeeping, harvesting my own grapes. I've taken up clowning and I have a really nice rock collection. Um, your guess is actually as good as mine. The last year and a half of my life has kind of been the blink of an eye and now I'm here talking to you fine people. In all seriousness, I moved across the country. I took a chance and ended up somewhere I never thought I would be again and I learned a lot about myself, some of it good. Some of it not so good, but nonetheless important to know. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror and it's like I'm confronted with this whole other person than who I was before. And I think about who I was like when I left Utah. And I think about going back and I wonder, am I going to have the same friends? Am I going to do the same things that I did? Or am I on this whole other course of existence right now? And I think it's the latter. I really do. I'm not the same person I was. Sometimes it felt like things were changing for the worst. Sometimes it felt like they were changing for the better. And sometimes they were just changing. And all I could do is... All I could do is hang on for the ride. I've missed Utah every day since I left it. And I know that I have to go back for a while. I don't think it's forever and I'm not going back alone, but... I think it's important that I head back out west because, man, did I leave my heart out there. Something worth noting is the fact that I did finish my master's degree. I actually just finished all of my coursework last week and the last day of my internship is tomorrow and that's super exciting after like two and a half long years where I didn't have time for much of anything, let alone taking care of myself, and God forbid that you happen to be in a relationship with me while I was in grad school. I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry for you and your existence in that time, but I am now a master's level clinician, which is actually kind of scary, like the thought that obviously things have to happen before this is a reality, but you could walk into like a therapist's office and be greeted with this gem of a personality right here. Just, you know, let me help you make some good life decisions. That's all I'm saying. I do work pretty much full time. I'm a server at a place that for all intents and purposes here, I will just call Burger. 
This is my little book that I take my orders in. So if you're like, I want a burger, I'm like, well, how the fuck do you want that cooked? Write it down here. You notice my little book has beer, bacon, gay. I just figure, like, why not be honest with guests? I'm like, if I had to describe myself in three words, I would do beer, bacon, gay. Beer, bacon, gay. Can I take your order? Would you like fries with that? Thank you. I'm single for like pretty much the first time in my entire adult life and it's actually pretty nice. I don't, I mean sometimes I'm like why are you single and then I'm like well it's probably the cat thing, it's probably the fact that you showered today and you were embarrassed of how long your leg hair was but I mean really it's like my favorite part about giving a tour of my house right now is like swinging open the door to my bedroom and pointing at my bed and being like this is where the magic never happens. In all honesty, though, um, it is nice. Like, it's nice to just, like, cultivate a relationship with yourself and to, like, cultivate relationships with others that are, like, platonic. It's really kind of a beautiful thing that I think people take for granted. I really have made, like, the most amazing friends since I moved back. Like, I've never had, like, a group of people who make me feel, like, so supportive and loved and cared for and, like, make me laugh my ass off so much of the time, and I'm so grateful for that in any capacity, and I just, you know, it's hard for me because I never saw myself living here again. I told myself I would never live in Connecticut for the rest of my life. It's either called the Constitution State or the Nutmeg State. Both things are very uninteresting and kind of a metaphor for how I feel about living here. I struggled for a long time after I moved back, kind of thinking that, like, there had to be, like, this greater purpose or this, like, meaning behind, like, me coming back to the place I grew up, and... I struggled, like, searching for that for a really long time, and eventually I just had to, like, marry the fact that, you know, there was a reason, and there are reasons, and things happen every day where I'm like, this is where I'm supposed to be right now. Is it where I'm supposed to be forever? Definitely not. But it's where I'm supposed to be right now, and I've had so much good come out of the last year and a half of my life, and I'm so grateful for the experience, and I can't help, despite any shitty shit any shitty shit, any shitty shit that went down, but to feel anything but gratitude for the last year and a half of my life. So I hope that you welcome me back with open arms, YouTuber, boobers, or, you know, the five people that might still check my channel occasionally. And I will try to keep updated a little bit more than I have been because I really do enjoy having a little visual time capsule. So... I hope everybody is also doing really well, and don't hesitate to message me or comment and tell me how you've been. Bye.